Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. The butler, Mr. Fernsby, killed Zachary. Fernsby? Oh, you've got that wrong. He would never do such a thing. He is the most loyal man I have ever met. I found pills in his office that matches the poison that killed your brother. Furthermore, I found Zachary's notebook, half burned. Mr. Fernsby's fireplace. It showed that Zachary intended to publish a written confession to a murder the two of you committed nearly 50 years ago. The murder of your older brother, Montgomery. That's outrageous. We did no such thing. No need to feign innocence. I know a killer when I see one, and my discretion is assured. The papers also described how Mr. Fernsby helped you stage the murder of Montgomery as an accident. I believe he killed Zachary not to be exposed as an accomplice to murder. Sweet Fernsby. Mm. You are wrong, Mr. Whitmer. He did not do it to protect himself. He did it to protect the Carlisle legacy. Mr. Fernsby like myself, understands that sacrifices must be made to secure stability and prosperity. Mr. Whitmer, I'd appreciate it if your findings never leave this room. I understand Fernsby's actions, and there is no need for them to have more consequences than they already have. Fernsby was very fond of Zachary, and I am sure his decision will haunt him to the day he dies. About your reward, have you considered an amount? I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Arthur Edwards? The Constant? But that must mean you're... <sighs> I expected you'd show up. But you're not here to kill me. If you were, you would have already. The enemy of my enemy, I suppose. You can have it. You earned it. The file you want is in the safe. Good hunting. I need some privacy. Thank you. Sir. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Hello there, sir. What have you been doing, anyway? Sleeping? Oh. 
On top of everything, Rosie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking heart happening, if I ever saw one. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. Can you just stand up, please? Hey, she's single, Rebecca, right? Maybe I should ask her out. Get to know her in a personal way? <laughs> you could try. Rosie told me Rebecca has a really cool saying, though. It takes a damn fine man to replace no man at all. So you've got your work cut out for you if you do try. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to imply that you're not fine. You're definitely fine. I mean, I, I don't fancy you or anything. You're not my type at all. <laughs> I'll just shut up. They'll be right down. Ebra. Hey, 
Down by the fountain. Rebecca Carlisle. I'm Noel Archer, the photographer. Great to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. I, I really admire your work. You're such an inspiration for photographers and, and journalists both. Well, thanks very much. You know, I expect you to be quick about the shoot. I have a lot to do today. Everything is set up and ready to go. It's just in front of the fountain. You'll be That's happy with the result. Create precise order in all her affairs, never letting coincidence touch her. Right, get in position. Let's get this over with. There's a puddle of water here. Well, never mind. Let's just get this done, shall we? Chin up, Edward. No one wants to look at that long face. You're such an idiot, Gregory. I'm fine, Rebecca. Fine? You look like a nervous wreck. Stop bickering. <laughs> <laughs> No. Mission complete. Well done, 47. Now Zachary won't get to see the rhododendron perigonium blossom. They were his favorites. Come on, Laura. I understand why you're so upset. It's such a shock to all of us. Here when the safe in Madame Carlyle's office was repaired last week. He had to carry some heavy bolt to the top floor. He complained about back pain for the entire weekend. Well, that's just bonkers. Why lie about a trip to Denton? Who does that? Bahamas, perhaps. here at the same time. Yes, there's so much to do before the funeral tomorrow. And the woman even bad on that they're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! Shit! 